PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to leave a small donation, you can also at dollar sign PSA Hip Hop on Cash App. Y'all see the title of this particular blog, man. Let's talk about it, man. Ah, black fathers, black sons. Black sons, black fathers. The 50 Cent Marquise Jackson story. I go back to little Marquise when he was in the Wankster video. We were 50 and them. I remember one of those G Unit mixtapes. Uh, I think it was a show they did somewhere. And Marquise got on the mic and said, what the is going on? I remember that vividly. Must have been a young youth at that particular time, right? Um, we've also heard the stories about 50 Cent and his son's mother. We know about, well, we don't know. They, they, they've thrown out the dirty laundry and, and let us know their relationship. Obviously, mom and dad can never be on the same page. Um, Marquise for the most part, has sided with his mother. Um, and a lot of times, man, if you notice, a lot of times that does happen, right? Um, there's fathers I had, that's not on the Ed OG and the Bulldogs type tip, be a father to your child. I'm pretty sure there's things that 50 wish he could take back or have done or didn't do, right? All, all, all black fathers, right? Let's just call it what it is, right? I remember people were saying 50 was a, a deadbeat father, you know, burning down baby mom's houses and that kind of conversation. I'm uh, pretty sure 50, like I said, could look in the mirror and say, maybe I could handle this situation better and stuff like that, right? Yes, we know about Marquise taking pictures with Cream Sun, hanging out with Slow Bucks. If you want to say hanging out with the ops and everything like that. And, and, and when your son does that, you know, some people will say, you know, how could I have a relationship with my son? I bond with my son if he's willing to hang with people that wanted to take me out, quote unquote, of this world, right? And that's the thing, man. You're stuck in a hard place because G Unit had a song called "Sticking in Water." Ah, like I'm sticking in water, blood. Ah, you know me and Averb. Shout out to my guy Averb. We were going back and forth um, the other day on social media about Marquise and them because I was saying, you know, I wish 50 and Marquise could have a, a conversation. And I understand I understand. no matter what they're going through, I'm always going to be down for black fathers and black sons reconciling and reuniting. And, and I don't want to say rubbing it in baby mama's face because with all due respect, most, most kids' mothers that I know, regardless if they're not together no more, some of them do want you to have, a lot of them, respectfully, still want you to be in the child's life. Now, you might have kickback in the beginning of relationships because feelings are involved. But after a while, y'all got to snap out of it, right? You got to snap out of it and do what's best for the child. Marquise, to me, has picked up a lot of his traits from his moms. You can just tell, I'm not going to use the word brainwash that little man. I don't want to go in that bag. Y'all can do that and everything like that. But Verb had told me that, you know, uh, Verb was saying to me, little dude, mama got his head three. Ain't nothing 50 can do. She put a hate for 50 in her son's head when he was young. And when Verb says that, I'm looking at it like, is he wrong? And I'm talking about A-Verb. Is he wrong for prefacing his statement and saying what he said? Because, listen... Open up the my my family tree here. My father and I, quote unquote, didn't have the greatest relationship. He wasn't in my life for a large percentage of my life, right? I had to grow up and learn things on my own and everything like that. So, but when my father passed away in 2015, I'd be lying to y'all if I felt there was a part of me that wish I could have spoke to him, right? And then you start being the shoulda, coulda, woulda dude and wish me and pops would have had that bond and stuff like that, you know? And then you got the Marquise, like I said, chilling with Supreme and them, and we know the history of Eddie, you know, between those parties, Marquise, you know, I just feel you're going about this the wrong way, little bro. You were going about this the wrong way because 
Real talk, a little bright. This is a cry for help. This is definitely a cry for help on your side, but you're going about it the wrong way. And I understand that you are 26 years of age. But like I told people yesterday, just because you're 26 years of age, that doesn't necessarily make you a man. By society, you're a man. But mind thoughts and how you come off and the words you put together and the things that, that come out your mouth, that's not sounding very adultish. I understand the money slows up and everything like that. We'll get into the to the sixty seven hundred dollars. We'll get into that in a second. Him and choke the choke no joke interview those brothers had going on and everything like that. But Marquis, you are twenty six years old, youngin. You have got to snap out of this, bro. Trust me, man. You are doing yourself a disservice. You are doing yourself a disservice on how you're carrying on with your father. I don't think I don't know if you think if you don't care or you think this is f funny and everything like that. I don't know if, you, you know, if I'm a baby, if I'm your mother, I would tell you, st st get off the, get off these interviews and trying to, I don't know, man, you're paint, trying to paint a picture, you paint a picture of your father as this narcissistic, or he's your enemy, and your father's not your enemy, Marquise, honor thy father, and your days, y'all know the rest, I'm not going to go into the scripture. I know Bridge says, you know, the Bible's a classic, but it's no Illmatic. But, yo, dogs, let's, let's stay focused. You know what I mean? And, Moktis, you get a pass. When you was a youngin' acting like this, you probably get a pass. But at, at your age right now, you're not going to get a pass from a lot of people, regardless if I think that you have a mentality of a youngin'. And your mother has, I don't want to use the Nas song, Poison, but I don't, you know... I don't know if your mother's happy with you hating on your father. I wish I wish there was a way you and your father could have a conversation. I think he was trying to build a sneaker business for you years ago or something like that. I, I don't know what happened with that and stuff, you know? But Marquise, here's my thing, little bro. Is your concern the relationship with your pops or your concern is more of money? Financial, financial. Do you care about your father, bro? God forbid, like on wooden, God forbid something was, happen something was supposed to happen to your father, Marquise. How would you feel, bro, that you're here right now and you can have that conversation with your pops? You're wasting time, Marquise. You're wasting time. And, 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 and you didn't pick up your, your, your father's savviness when it comes to business, little bro. It seemed like you, the entitled thing that you pulled out with the money, I thought that was kind of corny. I got to give Archie Bunker what for that, Marquise. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, that was type corny, little bro. That was like, you, you listen, I understand your father was a troll, so you're trolling the world, so I don't know if, you know, you, you, you in your father's bag right now and call it a trolling because your dad was one of the biggest trollers before we knew Daylight 50 was a troll, right? And some kids, when they get older and get knowledge of self, they try to have that sit down conversation with their pops and try to reconcile grievances, differences, relationships that was not there at one particular time or try to build that bond before they they they, they not here anymore. You know? Because I don't know who's in your corner, Marquise, in sense of a big homie or uncle or giving you um a conversation from a man's aspect. Bruh. But it'll be dope to see you and your father reconcile. I would love to see pictures of y'all together. The gram, you know, your baby mom's, she don't like it. Oh, well, she'll be all right. It's going to call it what it is. You know? And I don't know, Marquise. You, at, at 26, I think your pop said just drop in the club. Did he not? If he dropped in the club at 28, 26, like he was... That money's not coming no more, little bro. We, you have to find ways of, of of standing on your one too. You know, people are saying on Instagram, on, on Twitter right now, protect Fifty Cent at all costs. And like I said, I understand the slow bucks, the praying people, you know, and everything like that. You know, that Fifty probably can't squash it, and he's looking at you like, is this my son? Is this my blood? 
Right? How do you go hang out? How do you take pictures with people like that? Because my son did that would be that would that, that's gotta be hurtful. No matter how tough 50 is, that's still gotta be hurtful to see your child go into that bag. You know? And growing up without growing up without a father, it could turn you into a cold person. It really it could really turn you into a cold person, man. You know? But Marquis, stop the BS and go talk to your pops, youngin. You go talk to your pops. Stop be stop the bull S. And go talk to your pops, bro. For real, man. $6,700 not enough, Marquise? Are you living in New York City still? Or Atlanta? I don't know wherever you residents. I hate when people say you live in New York. I hear some people saying you live in Atlanta and everything like that. And Marquise, I'm, I'm pretty much, as an older person, I'm looking at you as if entitled and ungrateful. If entitled and ungrateful was a person, that's you. You can even make your movies with your pops. You should be on power and all these other movie ventures. Your pops go, got going on. You should be in these flicks. You should be a part of that. Smarten up, young man. Smarten up. Man. I'm telling you, tighten up and smarten up, Marquise. Stop it, bro. I'm telling you, stop it. Stop it. Get your mind right, man. So, it's your boy, T. Leather, man. Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think, man. What?